Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Melissa. I was listening to some Shakira, so I'm like, oh. I'm all fired up. So it is Thursday, another beautiful day to count your blessings and be alive and celebrate life. Um, my team is doing so awesome. I'm in such a celebratory mood today because they are just kicking butt. We're doing a push group and everybody is just rocking it. It's going so awesome and I'm really proud of everybody. So before I get started talking about how to get your prospects to take you seriously um, and to actually consider what you're telling them, uh, I have some updates and stuff to talk about. So I told you guys yesterday, I think it was yesterday, that I ordered a ring light, um, you know, the, the ring light so that when I do my videos and I take photos and stuff, um, you'll be able to see me a lot better. Well, today I discovered that if I sit near this window, it's usually pretty good. Um, but aside from that, I opened up the ring light. I set it up. I did everything I was supposed to. I put it on last night and I thought to myself, you know, I ordered the one with the fancy name. I'm not going to mention any names, but I ordered that that one. And um, I realized that it was the same damn thing as the other ones, basically. And, uh, you know, like the lower popularity name brands. So I packed the shit all up and I sent it back today. So and then I ordered the fraction of the cost, like a third of the cost, same shit. Um, so that should be coming soon. So that's my update on the ring light. <laughs> so um, aside from the ring light, I have a quote that I want to share with you that I heard this morning when I was watching my personal development um, on YouTube. And it's by Zig Ziglar. And it just really resonated with me. So if it resonates with you, um, comment and let me know um, if there's another quote that resonates with you, comment. I'd love to see the quotes. Um, I love quotes and I love um, personal development. Every day I have to soak it in. So it is fear. Fear equals, and this is by Zig Ziglar, fear equals false evidence appearing real, false evidence appearing real. I love that quote because it's so true when you think about it, just think about it. Um, and you deserve better than that. You know, you deserve as a person, as um, you know, giving yourself um, your own positive self thoughts, you deserve better than that. So push fear aside and just remember that fear is false evidence appearing real. Uh, so I wanted to also tell you guys that I have been participating in Ray Higdon's Rank Makers um, tr new training program. Um, I got in as a founding member. Um, I'm going to be getting my shirt soon. I'm going to say Rank Makers founding member. Woo I'm so excited about that. It's pink. I'm excited because it's my favorite color. So I'm going to be getting my shirt. Um, and um, I just wanted to let you know that they opened up that group again. It was closed. Um, only select few people got in, you know, like 400, 500 people, I think it was. But they've opened it back up. So if anyone is interested in getting in on that, um, let me know and I can I can PM you the link on how to join us in that group. It's it's full of like serious rock stars, awesome powerhouse people in the industry and network marketing. And I, I am absolutely loving being a part of that group. Um, and it's growing because, like I said, they're just opening it up right now for another 48 hours to get a little group of people in again. So you got to get in now while it's open. Um, I also wanted to share that all of these things that I bring to you um, on my videos uh, in the morning, you know, on this on this page of mine is all kinds of things from all kinds of people. Um, I, I'm learning. I'm a constant lear learner. I'm always coachable. So I'm always in participating in different training programs, either it's paid, free, whatever, my team itself, my leaders in my big group of my company. Um, but just so that you know, I will never claim that anything that I say here is mine originally. Um, I am simply just sharing um, information that I have learned and it could be from any people out there. Um, but I will never ever, I will always give credit where credit is due. Um, and what I'm going to talk about today is actually something I did learn from Ray Higdon. So with that, let's go ahead and start talking about how to get your prospect to take you seriously. 
Okay, so it all has to do and completely 100% has to do with posture. Um, posture is huge in network marketing. Posture is huge in any kind of sales, actually. Um, posture is really important and a lot of people struggle with posture. Um, you know, it takes a lot of confidence to have posture, um, confidence in yourself, confidence in what you're offering to someone. And um, you really have to believe that you're giving someone a great opportunity in order to have that posture. Um, there is a, uh, vi a video, um, it's a, um, a documentary actually, and it's on YouTube, you can find it. Um, I suggest to everyone who's watching this now, um, go ahead and, and check it out. It's called The Rise of the Entrepreneur. Um, there are people in there like, um, you know, the um, guy um, Kawasaki, Brian Tracy, Eric Ware, tons of great um, network people in there, network marketing people. Um, and, you know, it, it talks about living the ideal way to design a life that you can leave a legacy for your children. It's an awesome documentary, awesome video, must watch. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, you know, using um, powerful words and things like what I have always found is if I play the role that I am busy, um, I am busy. If someone says to me, you know what, go ahead, just send me the link and I'll look at it later. Um, I tend nine times out of 10, um, you know, there are exceptions, but nine times out of 10, I will not send that link. I will make them stay curious and I will reply back to them. Hey, listen, I know you're busy. I'm super busy too. Um, I take my business really, really freaking seriously. I mean, I'm not going to say freaking, you know, but talking about it. Um, you know, I am serious about my business. This is this is a very important thing for me. So why don't you do this? When you have time to talk, talk about it more or to discuss it, let me know and then um, we'll set something up and I'll send you the link right before so we can talk about it. Um, that is going to get you way, way better results. Um, otherwise, if you just go ahead and fire off your link or you give away all the information without setting up a time to either call, um, talk, um, do a FaceTime, whatever it is, then nine times out of 10, you're never gonna hear from that person again. And I know it's happened, It's if you're in network marketing, uh, you have had this happen before and that is why. So, you know, using um, phrases like this may or may not be a fit for you is really good because, um, you know, you're, you're sharing and, um, you know, what you want to do is you want to listen. Listen to what they're really saying because if somebody says, you know, how much money is it? You know, like right off the bat, they're not asking because they only have $229 instead of the $249 that they need to join up. They're not saying... Oh my God, yes, that's perfect. I had $499.50 saved waiting for an opportunity. I was just looking, I was scanning all across the globe. That's not why they're asking. They're asking because they want to shoot down your opportunity and tell you to go away. That's basically what they're saying when they just ask right away how much it costs. Um, a huge, huge, huge factor, which a lot of my team struggles with, um, especially if you're new to network marketing, a lot of what people struggle with is um, being emotionally attached to the outcome. Um, that is a huge, huge factor in posture. If you prep yourself, this is honestly, I am not even shitting you. This is what I do. I tell people this and they think I'm crazy. They think I'm lying. I think they think it's a joke, but I'm because I can be a little bit sarcastic. Mm -hmm. Just a little. So, <laughs> so what I do is I prep myself, you know, like, like if I'm, if I'm like a swimmer and I'm going to the Olympics and I'm going to go to the Olympics for, and, and I've got my swimming, the swimming com, uh, competition coming up and I am prepping myself mentally. I prep myself mentally, just like I'm going to a sports event or something like that. And, and I tell myself, it's self-talk and it's all positive self-talk and it's like detach from the outcome. Don't for, don't, um, you know, pretend that you know what someone's going to say. Don't expect anything yes or no and go for no. Go for no is a great, is a great way to think too. So I do all of that before I even message people and being confident and having that kind of posture, people want to follow you. People look up to you. People are looking for leaders and, um, you know, 99% of the world out there is just followers. Um, so, you know, stay powerful. Um, you know, 
like pretend you have a handful of diamonds to offer people. And some people over there are gonna see it as just like you're holding rock salt. But that's their perspective. You can't change that. You know what you have and that's posture and that's that's attractive to people. Then they will see that it's diamonds. So just make sure that you keep that in mind. Um, you know, servant leadership. Um, you know, um, here's here's a good good formula which which I I recommend huge, huge. 80 to 90% of the time work on you, 20% of the time work on your business. And you will see things will change. You'll, you'll have attraction marketing happening and people will want to be part of your tribe. So keep those things in mind, you know, when when you're talking about posture and when you want people to take you seriously, um, you have to stay in control. Start the conversation with controlling the conversation, um, detaching from the outcome and staying powerful and withholding the information if need be. Don't be so excited to give it out that you give it out without any plan to communicate with that prospect ever again. So that is my Thursday words of wisdom. Ooh, that's my, I'm not a good singer, obviously. <laughs> so that is my Thursday little tidbit for you. Um, I did go ahead, it came to my attention that my blog was not updated. No, I'm just kidding. It was my fault. <laughs> so I went ahead this morning and took a chunk of time and I updated my blog over at Working with Melissa. So now all of the videos, I think this is the 20th video, guys. Holy shit. 20th video. How awesome is that? It's like a 20 anniversary. So we're celebrating tw number 20 today, guys. So celebrate with me. So you can head on over there to Working with Melissa. You can find all of the blogs um, and you can, I think you can follow a blog. I don't even know. I just know I'm putting it there because people wanted it on a blog and it's sharing to all kinds of other places. So you can check it out. I don't know. You probably know more than me about a blog because I'm not a prolific blogger. So um, go ahead and check it out. Um, if you need anything, always, as always, reach out, send me a message. Um, if there's a topic you'd like to see discussed on our morning videos, go ahead and send me that too. Um, but if this resonated with you, if this brought value to you, please share it. You share it with your team, share it with friends, family, um, whatever. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Friday. Bye, you guys. Have a fantastic day.